hello. Here I am, section hiking the Arizona Trail southbound. I'm lucky to be out here in my element. Um, it's been frustrating and harder than I thought. Chemo really messed me up. Breathing hard, taking a lot of breaks, more than I'm used to taking. I don't know when I'll have service again. And there you go, Maverick out. My name is Marvin Kassler. I'm a uh, third grade teacher, born and raised in Tucson, Arizona. The reason why I like the uh, nomadic lifestyle, you know, I get bored staying at one place at one time. So with my vehicle, you know, I can move to different parking lots. Mainly it's about the, the simplicity and the freedom and you know life's hard and if you can uh, make life easier for yourself this is the way I like to roll you know and a lot of people frown about it but uh, you know I'm being true to myself and this is what makes me happy and uh, you know for me everything's good right now life is good. Basically, you know, I go to work at around uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, change in the classroom, and then I don't know what it is, something gets turned on and I become professional. While I taught my first 13 years, I was a wildland firefighter. I was a hot shot and I did hell attack for the Salt Lake BLM. I stopped doing that in 2011 and um, decided to hike the Colorado Trail in 2012 and I got the bug and that's what I do on my free time. It's my number one passion, fall, spring, winter, especially in the summer. I'm, um, I'm walking long distances on the long trail of the United States. I just like that, that thrill, uh, just being free, not being tied down. I like to be mobile and uh, kind of living life on, on my own terms. Completed the Continental Divide Trail, 3,100 miles. Um, the Arizona Trail, which is 800 miles. Colorado Trail, which is 500 miles. 2,000 the Pacific Crest Trail and and some with all those trails I go back, I go the other way and uh, apparently I'm working on 400 miles of the uh, Adu Trail. Living out of my vehicle being a Maverick is living the way you want to live, be mobile, be financially free and not be contained in one spot, in one area and uh, not live life like most people do. Yeah, so this is what my socks, like I gotta always look at my socks there. They always have to, I always gotta replace them. This is like in New Mexico and you're up near Mount Taylor and there's just these wild, you know, horses out there running around, cool things like that. And uh, yeah, and then you you run into donkeys out there in the middle of nowhere and they, they come in, they try to eat all your food out of your backpack. So you give them a cliff bar so they'll leave you alone. And then you end up getting a selfie with the donkey, so. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Like every day, it's a different day. Yeah, you wake up, you you sleep, you walk, you go to the bathroom, you eat. But uh, every day is a different day. A different uh, thing happens, a different adventure. You know, you run into cool people, people from the past, you know, wildlife, just funny things like this. So, um, yeah, man. I just feel alive when I'm out there, you know, hiking, doing my passion. Um, um, I'm at my best, I'm the happiest, you know. That's my happy place when I'm outside walking uh, long distances. I'm free, living life kind of on my own terms, um, stuff like that. Yeah, this is when I had cancer. 
when I was on the Arizona Trail, and I didn't even know. My feet were all swollen up, and yeah, so. So I knew something was going on the spring of 2017. My right foot swelled up. I didn't know what was really going on. I ended up going to hike, ended up doing uh, 400 miles of the Arizona Trail, and then I went over to Pacific Crest Trail to knock out a 300 mile section. But while I was doing this, while I was hiking, my right foot was swelling, and then the left one started swelling. And then on top of that, I was very lethargic. I was really struggling. I called my doctor, I got a sub. I went over to my doctor, they did an ultrasound. They found 12 of my lymph nodes were swollen. And uh, next thing I know, I'm getting a, uh, a biopsy. They did a core sample. A week later, I found out I had lymphoma. And from there, um, I started doing chemo. It was tough. I had to do two sessions a month, 12 sessions total. Um, it, was, it took about six months. And as it went on, it just got harder and harder. I would feel sick, but I would still come to the classroom and teach because I know I had a job. And I, these, my students deserved it. My advice for someone that has chemo would be to have a support group. It's a dark time and if you have people that you can rely on that uh, can help you. I was lucky, I had a community, my parents, my students, and when I finally finished chemo, it was, it was a big relief and celebration. It was pretty tough, but you know what? I wasn't a quitter. Two weeks after chemo, I was on the Arizona Trail, knocking out a 45-mile section, even though I was doing 10-mile days, and it was kind of pathetic, and it was hard for me. And I had chemo brain. Um, I feel like I'm back at it. And, you know, I'm not the same guy I was when I uh, started, you know, hiking these long trails in 2012, but uh, I'm feeling good right now. I'm just grateful that um, I got another chance to uh, continue to pursue my uh, passion of uh, long distance walking.